What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing. Hey, there's another Gertrude. <laughs> We're playing some Rim World. This is the Rim Hammer, the End Times Alien Race Space Race. And I can actually see her bio. Another halfling, slow learner, cannibal kind. Outlaw man, porkism. Slow learner. I mean, she kind of does everything. I'm tempted. What do we have to do? Oh, there's Indian elephants. How many? <laughs> Six. No, we can't feed that. How the hell are we going to feed that many elephants with no veggies? Not going to happen. We can chuck every potato we have in their gullet. And that's going to be that. I've been going around doing some mining. Anywhere there's resources, we're going to try and grab those. Mostly so that next time a trade ship comes through, we can sell a shit ton of stuff. Try and maybe buy veggies or other food. As the case may be. Or as we require. Hey, there's another structure over here I just noticed. Architect, let's just do a big deconstruct there. Floors, pull that up. I don't expect we're going to find anything interesting down there, though. Faye. You're over here already, nice. Where are you going? Gathering steel. Scratch that. Over here. Deconstruct this wall. What are these interesting looking tiles? Tribal tiles. How old is this planet? Alright. Well, not terribly exciting, but there is a mushroom that's not grown enough to harvest there. Well, okay. Never mind. That was a big waste. Everybody's spending a lot of time in the mines. Uh, what's wrong with Ungrim here? He doesn't do F all. You can make another bench and have him assist in research, but as you can see, he's a zero. Do you have any magic points available? That's a big fat no. I don't think Rat Thrall is going to be worthwhile because if we slaughter them, our own people are going to get pissed. Warp Lightning's worthless because he won't do violence. So we can either improve Verminous Ruin. Or start working Zone of Fertility. Zone of Fertility would have been most useful here had we been able to actually cast it. Now we've revealed another area. <laughs> no, it was right here. Worthless. Well, anyways, they'll get to that eventually. I went and just made all steel on this map that was exposed. Mined in its entirety. Less than I thought there would be. This is a double batch here, though. So, anyways, that's enough for that. The real problem here is food. And we did research hydroponics. And that might or might not be a reason I'm pulling in all this material. But if we do that, we're going to be stuck here for a while. Because we've made a massive commitment to it. The alternative is to make drop pods, send somebody to a new map, and as we can with the biofuel, <laughs> slowly start sending everything over. Now the next problem is, oh shit, we need to harvest these bastards. <laughs> Jesus, we're losing all this. All right, we can't have that. I have to force this harvest. That really blows ass because that's very tedious and not fun. Um, is there a way to do that? Yeah, you just set her to work. Schedule. Anybody that'll do plant work. Let's try this. So Faye and Gertrude will be assigned to work all day and all night until you fall down. <laughs> Or until the plants are all harvested. Okay. Faye and Gertrude. And turn down cooking for Faye. Plants are dying. Move your ass. Look at that. There we go. Well, we'll get a bunch of it. We're, they're, it's, they're dying as fast as they're getting harvested. Which is really strange that... Potato plant just up and die like that. Almost looks like she wrote something here. If you can find the satanic message in that. Alright, there you go. So how much did we end up recovering because of that? 1,300 potatoes. So totally worth it. 
and then assign so you go back to schedule copy and just fix them I'm gonna be tired all day tomorrow but talk to me about what's important and what's not people and eating in the dead of winter is definitely important plus the way these damn people eat through veggies I thought we'd just I thought we'd have way more than we need so anyways I think I'm mostly just gonna cruise here I'm actually really just waiting on that quest to come through so I know which direction to head on the world map what the hell was that area revealed again shocking that it's nothing again okay I see the problem here <laughs> takes 200 potatoes and the issue is I've been making lavish meals so it's all somebody probably pointed that out in the comment by now it's all me own stupidity do until you have details six pause until you have three close stop what you're doing there that'll likely solve the issue something seemed weird I decided to watch her after a year of the frickin vegetarians eating like royalty <laughs> yeah there you go anyways back to whatever the hell we had going on around here Gertrude's cloth head wrap just finally deteriorated away to nothing can we just make another one man I want Mickey doing that Hey, Mickey. Alright, we'll get her sorted out here. We have a troll hunting one of our bros. Uh-oh. Fortunately, we have Faye here on a drafted hunt. And Nugor. Charge. Melee attack. You move your ass. It's coming for you. Oh, shit. Why'd you stop? Get it. There we go. Good thing we had a friend nearby. And if this dude gets pissed about that, I might just take his armor off and banish the fracker. These. No, okay, good. Well, I guess we'll do a festival of animism. We're starting to get people mad about. Fine, 42%. Do it. Start, people are starting to get mad about the events not occurring properly. So. There's some insect jelly. There's a troll. There's some steel. <laughs> We've managed to rack up 4,200 steel. Speech is over and the party's beginning. We might as well just do whatever the next event we can do here is to... Fun! Noise! Okay. Advent of Archism. 17%. <laughs> Oh, she got social level two from that. These guys. All right, the speech is over. The party begins. I can be an affair of skin. I'm just gonna do them all. Let's see what these are all about. This one we've done. Party of perception and affair of skin. Everybody's getting their events today. Hey, it was fun. This one's expected quality zero percent. Oh shit. <laughs> Should I do that? It can only be boring or terrible. I guess I won't do that. Well, hey, mood should be frickin' bananas right now. Fun festival times two. Nine. Awesome. False ritual minus five. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, sweet. A new pawn. Please don't be human. That looks human. Bio. Bloodlust. Nimble. Tough. And bereft of most of the skills that we need we could capture make a slave i don't want her to join quick strip <laughs> um no he's like i'm not stripping a mud oh yeah sorry buddy strip and i mean we could tender without medicine solar flare bah there now she won't die maybe she'll get up on her own and walk off butt naked <laughs> in the winter in the far north i'm sure she'll be fine eh 
All right, good job, Queek Quick Queek. I think that Crook. I so I let the people on Discord come up with the names, and then there's also a Warhammer name generator out there. I shouldn't have taken her clothes. I should have just tended her and left her. Now I feel bad, but it's literally just the Rimworld Pawn. Anyways, so I use. I let people contribute names as they will, and then I also pull all the names I can from the random name generator. Oh, bonus. And uh, that's how I end up with names I can't pronounce. I'm not coming up with all these names. I did that for the dwarfs, and, <laughs> and then I found the random Warhammer character name generator, and that was the end of that. All right, well, needless to say, she didn't make it due to the cold. I'm such a schmuck. <laughs> All right, so from now on, out of guilt and repentance, we will no longer strip people if it's cold out. We will tend them without medicine, and perhaps <laughs> they'll be okay. <laughs> Although we could really use the wealth, but we also don't don't really need it. Trying to keep everything double walled against the outside where I can. I was also just dinking around doing some extra mining. I'm just mostly researching anything right now because I don't want to research the ship. <laughs> and um, yeah, cave builder. What the hell? That's another human. Look, he's got some throwing stones. That's pretty cool. I wish I would have imprisoned those, at least one of those ogres. If there was a way to imprison them all without the rest of them snapping on you. Where the last thing you want is three pissed off ogres in the middle of your base. It's, maybe I should build a prison. <laughs> you need to keep it against the rest of the building. We can actually leverage the heat coming in from this. I don't even think we need these things. This Actually, this one's putting out a thousand. It's putting out about half of our extra power output right now. So maybe we do... <laughs> And there's a polar bear up here blending in with these muffalo and getting me meat. There's also a bunch of... Okay, did we not make the head wrap then, Mickey? Oi, Mickey, what are you doing? You tell me we pissed away all of our cloth. <laughs> is this cloth? Mickey, seven. Somebody else is making a bloody duster? No. What the fuck is this clown doing? There we go. We need a head wrap, dude. It's cold out. You're going to repair now. <laughs> For the love of God, Mickey. All right, so it turns out you actually have to make a halfling head wrap. <laughs> I guess. There's a special halfling. Jesus Christ. You can't just wear a regular one for whatever reason. I don't know why that would be. Now I don't know what the hell that dude had on his head. But there's we just made a head wrap. Yeah. And this here halfling can't wear it. Despite the fact that her ideal legion requires it. So this is the kind of shit you run into with alien races, by the way. All right. So it generated her with, her, with it. She can clearly wear it. But I don't know. I think there's a halfling cap. We might have to go with that. Let's prioritize that. The dude that made that, I think, used the my dwarf's mod as a template, and I don't, I don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> I'm still not happy with a lot of things about how that's implemented, like the fact that they have custom bodies. Which I've been meaning to switch to the fat body for a while just to see if it looks okay. But at least if I did that, they could wear any armor in the game. Hey, it looks something positive for a change. Damn it, didn't I just do a fair skin? Oh, that was a zero percenter. Okay, I don't know why it, it said I didn't do it. But then when I tried to do it, it told me... I don't know, whatever, it's fine. All right, well, get ready for the animus to snap again. We've had donkeys join, 
and they're gonna have to get slaughtered. <laughs> uh, anyways, I was just thinking we should perhaps analyze this base a little bit and see what makes good sense about it, what works, and what doesn't. Nice, a magical delivery as well. Panoxicillin, we'll take that. At the very least, we can sell it. I'm looking for another free muffalo over here. I could just let those animals wander off, but we're not going to do that. So one thing that sucks, I was going to build a, a prison. So, I mean, there's not many options for where we're at here. Jesus Christ, I can't get through anything without this. Uh, do I need any more of this? Trees might be nice at some point. Anyways, for the fifth time, my thought was interrupted. I want this to go away. Now, <laughs> what works about it is this like nice central workroom. What would work better, I think, is if... Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. What the hell was that? The donkey getting killed. And then Zippy falling apart. I wanted to build a prison. If one more event happens and interrupts that thought, I'm going to lose it. And I was going to put it over here or up here. The issue with that is that the food is all the way down here. So now we're constantly running food from way down here to way over here. So that's an issue. And... I can't do a lot down here because we have overhead mountain. I don't like to build any structures against the edge of my exterior wall. And if you do that, you'll see that the AI prioritizes popping up in your bedrooms. What is this? Dwarf bile mushroom. Nice. There's three of them on the map. <laughs> any of you guys getting killed? So... Anyways, I think the the rule, the alteration I would make would probably be, and maybe it's not too late, but put the cooking rooms over here. Keep the food storage in here somewhere as well. And then I think there's probably a little mining that can be done in addition. I could claim more space back there. And then like this could just be bedrooms. That's fine. There is overhead mountain space. <laughs> sprinkled around over here but that's whatever it doesn't matter we could get at least one more bedroom perhaps two eh, probably one <laughs> and then this would be the food would be in a more central location now if your food's way over here you probably need to put your eating area somewhere nearby uh, but we could just have a shelf in here that was over here and they would cook here put the food on the shelf life would be just fine there is a pissed off muffalo coming Faye dented I don't want any traps to get destroyed slow her down whoa one shot and dropped right through the ear <laughs> uh, maybe it was multiple shots I don't know but that was a fantastic shot Faye you're a beast. And I'm sure that her gun link helps. I just leave it there for tomorrow. <laughs> I'll give the other ones a warning. You yeah, rat bastards, don't try that. You will get shot. This we will take. We're really loading up on material here. We've just been gathering and gathering. And you'll see our items has spiked quite a bit. But we're going to sell that shit. I need to figure out how to get the hell out of here. I might. I need something I can turn into Kim fuel. Now, chunks of spacecraft have been. Geez, I hit the mountain. Now there's wood or food. Those are the things you can turn into Kim fuel. And neither of those sounds terribly exciting. Mickey's going to have his arm again soon. He, he's been crafting a bunch of garbage, but, but he's getting better. So there's that. Because he's missing, <laughs> missing an arm yet. His whole shoulder is burned off, in fact. Like, what could that dude even look like at this point with his shoulder burnt off? All right, so we should be able to repair armor, and why is that not showing up? Armor. Uh, I want to see, like, 
prestige armors in here, marine armors in here. I'm pretty... Oh, are you making a leg now? We already have an arm? It's time to do some operations, friend. Can we make medical beds? I'm going to make a legit little clean hospital for because we're going to be doing a bunch of bionic installations. I don't want to botch that. Yeah, we can. Look at that. We have everything we need to make it happen. I'm going to put it right here. All right, cool. Finally a project that isn't just pissing time away, right? Ah, we're getting sick from the fine meals again. That's no bueno. Finally, someone's coming around to take the floors up that I put in and needed to get moved. No sooner do we start trying to make some progress than this shit falls nearby. But, nope, probably we should not do that. As you were, my dear. Uh, we could wake these dudes up again like we did last time. I'm going to have to actually... I've been trying to avoid <laughs> using zones as much as I can. Mech safe. Because I'm lazy. Not just mechanoid. This could be threat safe, maybe. Because I may need it for something else at some point. Uh, we should probably give them a bit of a wider berth than that, considering... Coal's not going to deteriorate. Okay. Now. Go back to that zone before I do something dumb. <laughs> and threat safe. Manage. Invert. There you go. And schedule everybody to threat safe. Okay. There you go. Alright. Well, whatever that's worth. Where are you headed? You better not be inside. So, quick, quick, quick. All right, now here's the next problem. We need a... I'm not making bows. I may make psychoid at some point. We only have five shells. <laughs> Actually, there's one loaded in there. This looks like some kind of reproducer. It's going to make four pikemen, but it is dormant. But these... Oh, wait. We better make sure there's no sky shell. Unstable. Are they not protected from aerial assault? It doesn't appear like they are. See, this is why I should have bought that GD sniper rifle. Because we could just sneak on over. Pop a power cell or two. Giggle our asses off. Who's in the best of spirits and with nothing to do? And that'll do violence. Man, the steel mortar. Uh, I guess we have to get lucky. I don't want to target that thing, but... And maybe I'm missing something that would... Otherwise prevent... What is that? Activates in five and a half days. At the very least, I want it woken up, assuming we can hit it with a mortar. Why aren't you shooting the mortar? Oop, he is shooting the mortar. <laughs> Well, not much going to wake these fellas up if that didn't. <laughs> you actually have to hit one, I guess. <laughs> like, holy shit, bro. We seriously... There's two of our six shots. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we hit the damn wall. Oh, it's a barricade. Might as well shoot them all. Uh, well, they are coming for us. Hold on. I'm going to have to do an inside zone too. There's really no question about it at this point. Because inside, I guess, compound is what this one's going to be. If I could bloody well type. There we go. That's a lot easier than my last game. <laughs> if you watch the Empire Castle playthrough. Oh my god, that was the worst shot on the planet, you dildo. If they actually come in, we, I mean, we might be all right here. There's no way they're... Oh, fuck me. There's no back door to get in here. They should just go for the traps, though. They're not that typically that bright. I think we might have to rush these guys from in melee. What is that? Who's taking that off? Oh, we were repairing it. I didn't even think 
we want to get into a melee fight. I mean, a shooting fight with these brosives. Why don't we just take you guys over there? Swarm! <laughs> take that, you sons of bitches. All right. So that group is down. Anything else over here? Just a bunch of guns. Ugh, why didn't I buy a play sniper rifle? And I guess we'll go back to... No, just threat safe is cool. You dudes don't need to be drafted anymore. What is this muffalo doing in the cave? Eating... S eating skeletons? <laughs> it's disturbing. And what do we have here? Not a damn thing. Alright, so... Uh, this dummy, man, the mortar. I don't think shooting ability matters any. Why don't we shoot where we don't want it to go? No, that's not it. You fucking Vertlo Stuhlgang. I don't. Uh. Alright, so, and that's why mortars are complete shit. So, why? <laughs> why, <laughs> man, why? <laughs> like, you have this extra requirement of this barrel that you can't not buy and install to make the damn thing but it doesn't it doesn't really make it any more accurate or fucking useful <laughs> one two three all right this is where actually one more so anyways i don't know what we're gonna do about that thing it's gonna make more pikemen we just need to be wary of that. I don't know. An auto mortar. Holy fuck. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I've really dropped the ball here. Can we sneak up on this? Not really. Hey, look. We're putting on our awesome armor, though. So that's good. <laughs> Faye's got some legit armor. So there, now we're going to start getting mortared. And there's nothing we can do about it. Except leave the map with all the food we can possibly make. Okay, well, I guess we try and make more shells as fast as we can. And piss on the organics. We're going back to meat. Uh, a sign. You two vegetarian dicks. To end lavish. And uh, maybe we should. So we'll leave our nonviolent guy. What Did you put on some armor then? You did. Whatever. I don't care. It's fine. We don't have any magic. Do we? No. No magic that's going to be useful. Damn it all. And if we make critters mad they're not going to go attack them because they don't care about that and look at the fucking range on these things i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to do here come on what why is this game not working it won't let me control my pawns <laughs> hold on maybe i have something else selected no there we go something weird was going on there ungrim you're in charge what is that? Those things don't attack, so we should be fine. Unless they're mad. Which... Okay. So, where's that slowpoke, dude? Oh, he's right there. We're going to mine through here. Zippy. Unrestrict orders. Mine. And that's why he's the guy doing the mining. You stupid shit. Okay. That coal might burn. <laughs> so now, I don't know what to do. Uh, somebody, Gertrude, has this. What's the range on that bad boy? Gear, maybe we can hit it from far away. Damage, 36. And these are like 45 or some horse shit. 46, yeah. Okay, Gertrude. I need you to sneak over there. Can you can you draw a bead? No. <laughs> uh, if you go there, can you draw a bead? I just need you to do do this and cross our fingers. 
Why didn't you do what I told you to do? You can draw a straight bead to there. It says you can. What the fuck? <laughs> do you have to target an item? Okay, never mind. Oh, I guess if the gun's not going to shoot at me, I might as well have Fago over there do the shooting. And I don't understand why her weapon's not working. Is this the unstable power cell? Yes. Alright, you guys can probably be free at this point. And uh, just make sure you're all scheduled to threat safe. And then I'll undraft you. Now hopefully when this blows up, we've solved our problem here. We've lost all of our coal, which isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> I thought she would be more accurate than this. Hey, business! Stop shooting it. Come on. Shoot something else. I don't know how much... Take that. Alright, uh, can we rescue this coal? We can. Architect zone. Do we give a shit? Eh, whatever. We're going to be needing as much money as we can. Unrestrict everybody. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. We would have been boned if this wasn't a mountain map. All right. Unstable power cell. Uh, I think we leave that there. Mech node. Claim deconstruct. And just grab a de- Can I deconstruct that without it fucking blowing up in my face? It says large fire if damaged. <laughs> Nobody damaged that. Uh, we don't really want these blocks hauled all the way from over here either. I mean, we might be able to use it as a trap. Like, but it just sounds like a major liability, so I don't think we'll do that. Did we save the coal? We did save the coal. Awesome. Good job, guys. You guys are fan-fucking-tastic. Well, while they clean that up, cheers to the patrons. I love you all. I very much appreciate the support you are providing for my nerd cause here. <laughs> and we'll get a hospital built next time. We'll start doing some legitimate operations. This is going to be way too big of a hospital for now, but you know how it goes. Anytime you make a hospital later on, you're like, why in the hell is this hospital not big enough again? I'm going to deconstruct this. It's fine. So anyways, that's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for spending time with me. I love you all. I've gone way over. I'll see you next time.